time for your weekly financial workout with your elite personal trainers, Ryan and Bob Payne, guiding you on how to build a stronger and more robust financial plan. So get ready. We're about to pump you up live from the greatest city in the world. This is No Pain, No Gain. Good morning. This is No Pain, No Gain Financial Radio. I'm your host, Ryan Payne, president of Payne Capital Management, along with our chief investment officer, the man with the plan, and happens to be my father, Big Bob Payne. Good morning, Dad. What's shaking on this glorious April weekend, first April weekend? Spring is around the corner, but it's always spring in Florida, isn't it, Bob? Well, it is, Rod, but you know better yet. The azaleas are in full bloom in Augusta, Georgia. My favorite golf tournament, as you know, from the day you were born. The Masters. I'm going to be watching the Masters all weekend, and uh, I am so excited. Not just for that, but you know, spring is coming to the Northeast. That's even better. Bob, I can picture you now in your jacuzzi watching the Masters. You know, having a cold beverage. I mean, that's just life is good, man. Yeah, I might even putt a little bit on the lanai. You never know. <laughs> well, we've got a great show for you this morning to help you on your path to financial freedom. We're going to talk about simplicity over complexity. We're going to discuss the benefits of having a simpler, more common sense game plan for retirement, show you how to get rid of the complication. We're going to talk about half truths. Bob and I are going to break down some statements you may hear in the financial world that are only about 50% accurate and give you the entire truth, along with this week's financial propaganda, where we call it the worst advice the financial media has recently been broadcasting. And we have our spotlight segment today. We have our star certified financial planner, Courtney C. Money Dominguez on the show. And she's going to review and break down someone's real retirement plan for you. So let's get to it. Bob, one of the main reasons we tend to procrastinate, I find, with our finances is putting together some sort of game plan can feel very, very overwhelming and really just downright confusing. And I'd say, sadly, our industry tends to make it more complex than it really has to be. Why do you think some advisors seem to make things harder than they should be for us, the average investor? You know, Rye, the word sadly was the right word. Sadly, you know, a lot of people assume the title of financial advisor, financial consultant, but at the end of the day, what they truly are, are just salesmen. And they're just trying to sell you a product and they want to get you off the phone as quickly as they can and get on to their next buying unit, unfortunately. Oof. Yeah, nothing's worse when you're considered a buying unit. It's just cold, man. No. So when you're a salesperson in the financial services industry, even though you might assume that the mantle of financial advisor, you live and die by ABC. Always be closing. And I don't really want to be <laughs> the uh, the end game in an always be closing type situation when it comes to my finances, Bob. That's not well, that's really- the problem. That, that's the problem, right? They try and, and use this complicated jargon to make them sound more sophisticated, make it sound you know more important than it is and something that you could never understand. God forbid you would use common sense to explain the advantage of the investment. They just want to get the sale and move on. And that's the great irony of all this is the reality of it is financial planning shouldn't be that complex. You know, every strategy that you're employing should be common sense. You know, we talk about this a lot, but look, if you can't understand it and it's not intuitive, as we always say, don't walk away, run away from that conversation. Retirement planning and investing should not be something you can't understand. You know, Ryan, you and I live by that rule. If you can't explain it within five seconds, it's too complex. It's not a good investment. Every investment should be simple, simple to understand, simple to explain, and simple to recognize if it fits into your personal plan. Yeah. So if you're feeling right now like, yes, I feel like I've always talked down to this stuff is too complex. You know, Bob, where's the place to start? If you want to start to simplify this, you know, it's always about taking that first step. And you know what do you have to do to really get on your path to what we call financial freedom? What's the first step to do that to simplicity? Well, the first thing is you got to get financially organized. And that's simply a matter of gathering together your statements, your insurance policies, mm -hmm. your bank accounts. You know anything financial is put that pile of statements you know in front of you. Now for that purpose, Rye, we provide everyone with a 360 financial portal which will organize you financially so that you can see everything in real time. You only have to input that information once. And it's updated every day for the rest of your life. Yeah. And that's the beauty of like our 360 portal and technology in general. It's like one password. You can log in. You can see everything updated on a daily basis. But that's 
really that first step. You want to consolidate things. You want to be able to look at everything at a bird's eye view. And then from there, you can really do the analysis on your investments. Because I think one of the most important things here, Bob, is not only consolidating, but then understanding what you own. Yeah, because if they, once you have everything in one place, you can see if there's any overlap, if there's any duplication or any replication, as you would say, to see if your asset allocation is truly diversified, if you have the appropriate amount in any given investment. Yeah, and that's the great irony, and we talked about this last week, is, and this is why it's helpful to look at everything in one place, because you have accounts everywhere, and you think, okay, I'm diversified because I have a 401k, I have a brokerage account over here, I have an insurance account over here, I have a savings account but when we start looking at everything in one place, we start to see the redundancy or the duplication, like you just said, Bob. Like you own the same thing everywhere. That's not diversification. That's a problem. That's true. And, and you might have made an investment years ago. Uh, a lot of people put a ton of money in gold years ago, or they speculated on an individual stock on a tip that they got from a friend at a country club. You know, it's time to eliminate these things. And, and unless you're looking at them, you forget about them. Yeah, no, exactly right. It's always there's always that account out there you forgot about or a couple accounts. So the nice thing is when you put everything in one place, you can start to eliminate things that you don't need anymore, right? I mean, you can say, "Hey, I have three different retirement accounts. If I consolidate them, they're in one place. That's a lot less paperwork. That's a lot less things that I've got to actually keep track of." Right, you're so right. It's about simplicity over complexity. What are the most complex issues that you run into with all the financial planning you do for your clients? Yeah. So once you consolidate, you can see how complex some of your investments are. And we know some of the bigger culprits, Bob, are those annuities, mutual funds, life insurance products that you like to say are kind of like Chinese food. They taste really good going down, but then you feel really empty later because usually you were sold those products and you have no idea how they work. Hey, Ryan, I got a question for you. you. Every week you talk about hidden fees. Where is it that hidden fees go to hide? Um, ooh, that's a good question. I don't know. I mean, somewhere deep embedded <laughs> in the portfolio. I don't know where, Bob. Insurance policies and annuities. There's tons and tons of fees hiding out, and it's your job to find them. It really is, because every year those fees continually come out of your portfolio, and that's money in the insurance company's pocket or the mutual fund's pocket, not your pocket. So it's really critical to get on top of all this stuff. And if you're thinking to yourself right now, I need to get rid of the complexity. I need to understand what I own. I need simplicity. I need to consolidate, get a game plan. Here's your shot to do it. If you're one of the next 10 callers, you have over $200,000 saved for retirement. Myself and Bob will run for you, our total financial master plan, and we'll do that with no obligation or cost. It's a full holistic review where we look at the big picture all you need to do is take that first step. Print those statements off the computer. March statements are probably here. Put them in a folder. Bring them in the office. We're going to build for you your own personalized financial portal where we can take a look at everything at a bird's eye view and look at all the critical components. We're going to look at diversification. Do you have a lot of redundancy? Do you have a lot of the same things in a lot of different accounts? If the market pulls back, are you protected? We're going to show you how to properly diversify your portfolio and protect you. We're going to look at income. Income is such a critical component to retirement. How are you going to fill in that income gap when you're retired or if you're retired now? We're going to show you how to optimize or increase the income on your portfolio so you have a stream of income that you cannot live. And we're going to look at fees. Yes, there's a lot of hidden costs on those insurance products, annuities, mutual funds, brokerage products. We're going to show you where all the hidden costs are, show you how to reduce costs so there's more money in your pocket for retirement. Then we're going to tie it all together into one total financial master plan and determine the most critical question. Are you going to outlive your money? Or more importantly, is your money going to outlive you utilizing strategies now our family has worked on for over four decades to take your family from point A to point B with the least amount of risk and the highest odds of success? All you have to do is call or text 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. If you're one of our next 10 callers and you've saved over 200000 for your retirement, our team will run for you your own total financial master plan. Now, there's no obligation. There's no cost. But there's no plan unless you text or call 844-752-6692. That's 844 752 6692. 
This is Bob Payne, and I'm with my son, Bry Payne, and we're the Paynes. No pain, no gain. Financial Radio. It's time for the weekly No Pain, No Gain market update with a team at Payne Capital Management here in New York City. Good morning. This is Bob Payne, the Chief Investment Strategist here at Payne Capital Management. And the financial markets kicked off the start of the second quarter, exactly how they ended the first quarter, moving higher. Markets were led by the Chinese market, with the Shanghai Composite Index now up 30% from the beginning of the year. Now, the gains came on the back of comments that both the U.S. and China agreed progress was being made in their trade talks, with President Xi of China pushing for a rapid conclusion to negotiations, while President Trump spoke of prospects of a monumental agreement that may still be some weeks away. Now, on the economic front, fourth quarter GDP numbers were revised lower, as expected, while the trade deficit narrowed, and the U.S. economy added 196,000 jobs in March versus an expected 175,000, keeping the unemployment rate at 3.8% and quieting the talking heads who have been babbling about the economy slipping into recession. In summary, the economy is still growing, unemployment is low, margins are good, valuations are reasonable, interest rates and inflation are low. It's no wonder we're now closing in on all-time record high prices for the stock market. As Dr. Kelly of JP Morgan stated this week, the current expansion is the second longest in U.S. history, and it's been an extraordinary expansion, and it won't have an ordinary death. So for now, ignore the noise and enjoy the new highs. Now, if you're sitting there wondering, do I have a portfolio that's appropriate to my goals, to my dreams? Am I getting my share of this big booming bull market? Well, why sit there and wonder when you can know? Simply text or call 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. Time for some New York City trivia. Did you know in the winter of 1780, it was so cold that the New York Harbor froze over? You could have walked from Manhattan to Staten Island on the ice. Let's hope it doesn't get that cold ever again. Although, if you had some sled dogs, it could do wonders for the commute. Anyway, keep listening to No Pain, No Game. Mush! It's Ryan Payne, Bob Payne. No pain, no gain financial radio. And Bob and I, we are common sense individuals, we like to think, and we like to try to keep it common sense and practical for you. That's why we put together our latest guide, highlights of the new tax reform, just to get you up to speed with new tax laws with taxes right around the corner. You can download our guide for free. Simply text the word bullish, that's bullish, B-U-L-L-I-S-H, to 555-888. That's the word bullish to 555 555- 888 highlights from the new tax law just so you're up to speed on the new tax reform you can download it for free simply text the word bullish b u l l i s h to 555 888 that's the word bullish to 555 888 so bob there are a lot of blanketed statements made in the financial world that if taken too literally can be detrimental to your financial planning let's discuss some of these have truths that just don't quite tell the whole story for example, don't worry about those losses because the markets always go up in the long run. What's the problem with that statement? Well, there's a lot of problems with that statement, Rod, but just any types of statements like this, these half-truths, remind me of the Wizard of Oz when he's behind the curtain and they're saying, hey, don't worry about the truth. You know, Just ignore that guy behind the curtain. You know, everything's <laughs> going to be fine. Uh, <laughs> that's, that's bad financial advice when you're hearing things like that. And the stock market and the financial markets, in truth, have gone up your entire lifetime. But it depends on whether you're an investor or a speculator, and there's two huge differences, right, isn't there? Yeah, if you're a speculator, that basically is like saying, I like to go to Atlantic City on the weekend and bet on red or black, right? <laughs> I mean, yeah. there's a lot of these quote-unquote traders or day traders that you know, somehow think that they can game the market, which statistically they always eventually lose, just like the casino. Whereas an investor, to your point, Bob, it's all about time horizon, right? The idea is you're buying something today, so sometime in the long term future, maybe five, ten years away from now, it's worth a lot. It's worth more than it is today, 
And in that case, yes, it's about time horizon as opposed to what can I make in a short period of time trading stocks. Yeah, I think the other thing is that uh, you have to understand what you own and why you own it. And if you don't have a purpose, you know, you don't have a gold based investment, you're not investing on purpose. It's very difficult to take advantage of the volatility of the market because markets do drop and they are scary. But those losses do ultimately recoup only if you're an investor. So if you speculate in something like GE, right, what better, you know, what better blue chip stock than there's been the GE? You bought that stock 20 years ago, it's still half the value of what you paid for it. Yeah, no, no, that's a good point. And I think that comes back to you too, Bob. You know, we talk about this a lot on the show, but in 2008, markets tumbled. And it's great if you're still working and you had time to make it up, but we're all 10 years older right now, right? Actually, more like 11 years older right now. And we don't have the same time horizon that we used to. The long run isn't the same long run that you had 10 years ago. Bob, another half truth that we hear often is the fees on your portfolio are less than 1%. Why isn't that necessarily true? Well, first of all, the answer to the question I ask you is, what are you paying in your portfolio is, I don't have a clue. So most people yeah. don't even know it's 1%. Yeah, or sometimes with some, we've been picking on insurance products a lot today. They'll say there's no fees. And you're thinking, that's great. Oh, what a yeah. great deal. But yeah. believe me, there's definitely fees. Oh, there are fees. And that's why it's so important to be able to, you know, pull the curtain back, look at each investment, find out what the internal expenses are, because, you know, a typical stockbroker will tell you, well, that, well, that's the mutual fund bears that expense. The life insurance company bears that expense. No, sir, you bear that expense. <laughs> you got to know what it is because it comes out of your return. Yeah. So next time you're sitting with your advisor, or you're maybe interviewing to have an advisor manage your money and they say it's going to cost you, let's say 1%. Well, that's only one of the fees. The other part is those internal expenses. And this is one of the reasons why we do our portfolio x-ray so we can break down not only the external expenses, but the internal expenses as well. It's important what they all are. It's almost in every situation we find, it's double what people think. Yeah, yeah, no, exactly. You need to know what you're paying on your investments. Bob, another half truth that we hear a lot is diversification is the key. You know, it's a part of it, but it's not the whole picture. Hey, right. My favorite segment on Mad Money is, are you diversified? <laughs> Jim Cramer. He's a wild one. Yes. Yeah. You own five stocks. And if they're in five different industries, you're diversified. If that's diversification, then, you know, I'm the Pope. <laughs> I didn't know that about you, Bob. Uh, you, right. Exactly. <laughs> that's not true diversification just to own five stocks. The amount of risk and volatilities you would have in a portfolio like that is tremendous. The other thing, Bob, is too, it's not just about having your money spread out, which is really important, but the one thing we don't talk enough about is income. The real critical component to your portfolio is how much income is it going to generate on an annual basis, because that's not contingent upon if the market's going up or down. Yeah, right. That's the best point you made today. You know, you look at 2017, markets went up dramatically. 2018, 90% of everything in dollar terms went down. So if you're dependent on capital gains to fund your lifestyle, you're in big trouble. Income is the key. You want to be certain that your income comes in every month, every quarter, every year, so that you can fund your lifestyle. And yeah, that was a caveat there. You want high quality income because you have to realize too, if something's paying a lot of income, it doesn't necessarily mean it's a good investment. You have to understand where that income's coming from. Given if it's a high quality income stream, that's a huge component to your portfolio. You need to know about that. Right. You're so right. It's, it, it, you know, it's not that simple. It reminds me of Ray DeVoe, who's passed away a few years ago, who always said that more money's been lost reaching for yield than at the point of a burglar's gun. You have to make sure that you have high quality income and you don't reach for yield. You don't speculate when it comes to your fixed income portfolio. Which leads me to my last half truth, Bob. Bonds significantly reduce the risk in your portfolio. Well, only if you have high quality individual issues that have permanence and definition. What's permanence and definition, Rye? Yeah, let's talk in English, Bob. So basically, the whole idea of owning bonds is you know the interest rate you're getting and you know there's a set date in the future, the money is going to mature and come back to you. And this is exactly why we don't like bond funds. And if you own bond funds, Bob, you made the great metaphor last week. It's like a seesaw. When interest rates start to go up, bond prices start to go down. And given how low interest rates are right now, it's a good chance that that seesaw is going to push rates up and your bond portfolios down. And a bond fund is not the place you want to be. 
Well, that's the reason why they're so evil, right? As interest rates go down, like they have been going down for the last year, tons and tons of money floods into your portfolio without your permission. So you're sharing the yield that you build up by investing when rates were higher. So you have a declining interest rate investment. On the inverse, when the seesaw goes the other direction, when rates start going up, people don't buy bonds. They panic and sell their bonds. So then you're losing the value of your portfolio because people you don't know are selling the fund that you bought. <laughs> like I like Bond to funds say- are evil because it heads you lose, tails you lose. And if you're thinking to yourself, boy, I don't want an investment where it's heads you lose, tails you lose. I want a financially healthy portfolio. I need to know what I own in my portfolio is appropriate. I need to know what interest rate I'm getting on my bonds and when I will get my money back. It's return of your money, not just return on your money. I need to know the fees I'm paying. I need to know if I'm positioned to succeed. Well, here's your opportunity. If you're one of our next few callers, you've saved at least 200000 for your retirement. Well, Ryan and I are going to create for you your own total financial master plan. It's a full holistic review where we'll look at everything. It's the only review you'll ever need. All you have to do is gather up all of your statements. You know, don't even take the time to organize them. Throw them in a shopping bag, stick them in a folder, pick up the phone or text us. We're going to sit down with you and review everything and help you to build your own 360 financial portal, which will allow you to become financially organized and view your complete financial life in real time at your convenience. We're going to break down your whole portfolio into an easy to understand strategy. And we're going to analyze your portfolio to see if you have the three key elements of a successful strategy, true diversification, low cost, high income. We want to be certain that your portfolio is bulletproof against the inherent volatility of the markets. We want to look at your cost. I don't know about you, but I despise being overcharged by anybody. I certainly don't want to be overcharged by my own portfolio. And lastly, we want to be certain that you have a dependable, repeatable income stream that will allow you to fill that income gap in retirement. And on top of it all, we're going to create for you your own total financial master plan, which will answer that age old question. Are you going to outlive your money or is your money going to outlive you? Utilizing strategies that my family has been perfecting now for over 40 years, for four decades. We've been helping families like yours get from your financial point A to your point B, to your goals, to your dreams with the least amount of risk and with only the certainty that a fiduciary like paying capital management can provide. So don't waste time. Call or text at 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. Here's your shot to get a second opinion. Make sure you're on track at 844-752-6692. That's call or text 844-752-6692. If you're one of the next 10 callers, you have over $200,000 saved for retirement. Call or text at 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. This is no pain, no gain, Financial Radio. It's time for Financial Propaganda of the Week. This is where Bob and I scour the daily financial news and call up the biggest offenders of offering you obscene and profane financial guidance to help you protect yourself from making any ill-advised financial decisions. So, Bob, what did you find out there in the horrific world of financial propaganda? You know, Ryan, I keep coming back to this theme about gold. Uh, I had a client call me the other day say, Bob, Stocks are almost at all-time record highs. Their bond portfolio is higher than it's ever been. And every day I see these gold commercials over and over again. He goes, are we missing something? And I said, yes, we are. You're missing an opportunity to lose money. (laughs) And he said, well, if gold's losing money, how can they afford to pay for these commercials? They've got to cost $20,000 to $50,000, right? How do they pay for these commercials if no one's making money in gold? How are they making money? It's called commissions, Bob, transactions, because they make money by selling you gold. And then the markup that they put on that gold that you purchase goes right in their pocket so they can pay for more advertising and sell more people on the idea of owning gold, an asset that's just done lousy over time is the bottom line. But I think it's even more insidious than that, because what they do is they they suck you in 
by buying gold bars or gold bullion, and then they go and sell you their proof gold and silver coins, where there's at least a 20, 30% markup plus another 6.5% commission on top <laughs> of it. I mean, right. How do you make money in something where you're down 30 to 35%? on the initial transaction. I think if you wait 100 years, Bob, you'll probably start to see a profit on your money. And and what's the dividend stream you get from gold and silver? 0.0%, .0%, right? And we talk about that's one of the most important things you do when you're invested is you want to have investments that pay income or cash flow and commodities like gold and silver pay you zero. In fact, it costs you to have it stored. So you're paying them for the privilege to even own gold. I know. It's just amazing though. When you see this for 10 years, since the financial crisis in 2008, these gold companies, they've shown up everywhere. They come out of nowhere. They advertise heavily. And I think, unfortunately, they suck people in, you know, with fear. And it's just a shame because it's something where, you know, they, it's, it's, it's really the small investor, people who aren't informed that are getting hurt by these people. And I guess it's our job, you know, to protect you you know, from charlatans that sell gold and silver coins. Exactly right. And if there's a commercial on CNBC or Fox Business or wherever you watch your news, the reason that they're advertising there is because they're making a lot of money in commissions. It's not because it's a good idea. It's it's almost like the old story about going in to, to see the financial advisor. He's got gold plates. He or she is wearing the, the best Italian silk. And you have to start thinking to yourself, Am I the one paying for this <laughs> so that my advisor can live in luxury? So buyer beware, especially when it comes to gold, Bob. Another article I found this week, Bob, and you'll remember this last year, is Morgan Stanley is at it again. They're sticking with their oh. bear market call for 2019, seeing that profits are going to disappoint. Now, this is not the first time they made a big, bold statement that the end of the bull market was near. So you got everybody out of the market in December. And you're on the sidelines, and now the market's gone up 20% in a lot of areas. How's that a good deal? Well, that's the crazy thing. So they made this big call last year to get out of the market, which, of course, they looked really smart because, to your point, Bob, December, the market sold off heavily or they went down a lot. But now the market's just almost where it was before December. So all this time you're sitting out of the market, you might have missed the downfall, but now you're back to where you were. So what was the point of being out of the market? And now they're calling for another big sell-off. It just seems like it's so dangerous to follow these big, bold moves that a lot of these big firms like to make. Well, when you have a big firm like Morgan Stanley or you know Merrill Lynch, Goldman Sachs, you know they have seventeen thousand advisors with every client that you can think of from you know every walk of life. You can't have one big bold strategy for everybody. You have to have a unique, common sense approach based on your goals based on your dreams and have an advisor who's invested in seeing you achieve those goals. So I think that's the worst form of financial propaganda, Rye. Right? You know, the market's going up, the market's going down. It's a bear market, it's a bull market. You know, it's, yeah. you know, don't worry about what the market's doing. Worry about whether you're positioned properly to achieve those goals. Well, the other point to make here too, Bob, is, okay, let's say you followed Morgan Stanley's advice. You went to cash. Now you're smart. You're not that smart because now you're sitting in cash and you're earning, you know, if you're lucky, 2% on your money that you have to pay taxes on, by the way. So maybe it's more like 1.5% on your money after you pay Uncle Sam. And meanwhile, had you just stayed in the market, you've been collecting your dividends the whole time. Because since December, Bob, we had a dividend payout in January. And just this past week, we had big fat dividends payout or cash flow payout into our client's portfolio that you wouldn't be receiving if you were just sitting in cash earning a nominal amount of money. And I think that's the other big problem right now, Bob, is interest rates are going down again and dividend yields are going up. Do I want to be in an investment where my income's going down or my income is going up? Rye, you just hit the nail on the head. Financial planning, investing is all about overcoming inflation because your cost of living is going to go up whether you want it to or not. We may only be at 2% inflation. Historically, we're at three, but even at 2%, cost of living is going to double in your lifetime. You need an income stream that goes up over time, not one that goes down. And it certainly doesn't help to be timing the stock market, You know, trying to pick the spots. It's just impossible to know. Yeah. And if you're thinking to yourself right now, 
I need a game plan that addresses that my cost of living is going to go up. I need a consistent stream of income that's going to keep up with my cost of living over time. Here's your shot to do it. If you're one of the next few callers, we still have a couple slots left. You have over $200,000 saved for retirement. Myself and Bob will run for you our total financial master plan, and we'll do that with no obligation or cost. It's a full holistic review where we look at the whole picture. March is over. Print those statements off the computer. Put them in a folder. Bring them in the office. We're going to build for you your own personalized financial portal where we can get a bird's eye view of everything and we can start looking at the critical components to your portfolio. We're going to look at diversification. Did your portfolio get hit really hard in December when the market sold off? Bob and I are going to show you how to properly diversify your portfolio, protect yourself against the downside. We're going to look at income. Income is so critical for retirement. You can't sit in cash earning almost nothing. Bob, I'm going to show you how to optimize or increase the income on your portfolio and fill in that income gap for retirement. And we're going to look at fees. There's a lot of hidden costs in your investment portfolio. I know that's shocking. And those annuities, mutual funds, life insurance products. Bob and I are going to show you how to reduce costs in your portfolio so there's more money in your pocket for retirement. Then we're going to tie it all together into one total financial master plan, utilizing strategies now we have worked on for over four decades to take your family from point A to point B with the least amount of risk and the highest odds of success. All you have to do is text or call 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. If you are one of our next few callers, you've saved over 200000 for your retirement our team will create for you your own total financial master plan. Now, there's no obligation and there's no cost and there's no strings attached, but there won't be a plan unless you call or text 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. This is Bob. I'm with my son, Rye, and we're the pains of No Pain, No Gain Financial Radio. Hi, it's Ryan and Bob here, and we want to talk to you about your cash. Bob, many of us are sitting on a lot of cash right now in our businesses and personal savings accounts, and rest assured the banks are taking full advantage of our dormant cash. That's right, Ryan. Not only do you have to worry about FDIC insurance limits, but most savings accounts pay close to 0%. Exactly right, and that's why we're putting together short-term CD ladders so you can have increased FDIC coverage, and not to mention rates that are in many cases double what your local savings and local checking accounts are paying. If you want to learn more about how to manage your cash better, simply text the word CASH, that's C-A-S-H, CASH, to 844-752-6692. That's text the word CASH, C-A-S-H, to 844-752-6692. How's that saying go? No pain, no gain? It's the name of our show, too. But we spell pain, P-A-Y-N-E. It's no pain, no gain financial radio. And Bob and I want to give you the most common sense advice that you can apply to your planning and investing. That's why we put together our latest guide, highlights from the new tax law, just so you're up to speed with the new tax reform. Taxes are around the corner. You can download it for free. Simply text the word bullish. That's bullish, B-U-L-L-I-S-H, to 555-888. That's the word bullish, to 555-888. Highlights from the new tax law, just so you're up to speed on the new tax reform. You can download it for free. Simply text the word bullish, to 555-888. That's the word bullish, to 555-888. And if you want to learn more about me and Bob, you can check us out on the World Wide Web. Simply go to bebullish.com. That's bebullish.com. You can subscribe to the show. You can see if Bob's hair is real, which it is, but check it out for yourself. Go to bebullish.com. You can catch myself and most of our financial advisors every week on all the major networks, everything from CNBC, Fox Business News, Yahoo Finance, giving our latest thoughts on the economy and the market. And we just launched a new YouTube site. You can simply go to, and we just launched a new YouTube site. You can simply go to moneyminutes.com, just giving you practical daily advice for your finances and investing. Go to moneyminutes.com. You can check that out. And if you ever have a question for myself or Bob, you can email us, questions at bebullish.com. That's questions at bebullish.com. Bob and I answer all your questions directly. And if it's a really good question, 
We answer it right here on the show. And to help us with questions today, we have our producer, the man, the other man besides Bob, Mark Haywood. How you doing, Mark? What's oh happening? boy, gentlemen, the pimento cheese is ready, the iced tea is brewing, and the pork shoulder is on the smoker. I am excited. This is one of the best times of the year. Masters week is upon us. That sounds like a real southern way to do it, I gotta tell you, Mark. Well, it is in the south, isn't it? Only Good one point. way to do it I down here. Not. Come on down and uh, join the festivities. Hey, I'd like to. <laughs> I'm sure, Bob, you'll be propped up a little bit watching golf for the next three or four days. Yeah, but mostly with a beer and some pretzels. I don't think I'm going to have any of those. So. <laughs> Bob's a simple man. Simple man. Simple pleasure. Nice. Nothing wrong with that. Well, before we can get to golf, it's still a few days away, so we have to wait with anticipation. But let's take a couple of questions here from the mailbag. The first one comes from Pam in Scotch Plains, who says, Bob, what do you consider a reasonable amount to pay for financial advice? You know, Pam, that's a great question. And, and Mark, you know, I'd like to ask you a question. If you were interviewing a financial advisor and you said, you know, what's this going to cost? And they said to you, well, what would you like to pay? What would you say, Mark? Well, I'd probably say nothing. <laughs> I've heard that a few times. And I guess my next question would be, what would you expect to get for that? Yeah. So when it comes to financial planning, right, it really is there's a cost involved. So, you know, you want to know what are you going to get for that cost? Well, I think there's some basic things, Rye, where we can help Pam. I said, initially, you know, she should have a written financial plan. And I think that's something that should be the beginning of every relationship with a financial advisor, especially if you're paying a fee, because a written plan is a living plan. It's something that you work on all the time. Wouldn't you agree, Rye? Yeah, I think that maybe let's start with the basics, Bob. What the heck is a written financial plan, right? I hear that all the time, but I'm not sure we all understand exactly what that means. Well, it all starts with, you know, who are you financially, right? We have to follow what we call the A to B process. You know, we have to gather all your financial information, look at, you know, what you own, you know, what you own financially, what you own that's, you know, non, non-financial non assets. We have to look at your income streams, your passive income streams in your lifetime, your social security benefit, your pension benefits, perhaps some royalties or some inheritance. And that's point A, right? And then point B is what are your goals and your dreams and your values? And it's the timeline between A and B is how much time we have as advisors to get to there. And that's where the planning process begins. Yeah, exactly right. It's kind of like you hear this all the time, but if you're going to get surgery on your heart, you want to go to the best heart surgeon. It's something that you don't want to get screwed up. And the same thing, Bob, you really only have one shot to make sure retirement works well. So you want to work with somebody that's got your back, you know, per se, who's going to be watching yeah. and monitoring because I think that's one of the biggest mistakes we, we make is set it and forget it. It's great to set up a plan initially, but it's the monitoring and the adjustments you make along the way is the difference between success and failure. And I think that's a huge point. Yeah, it's kind of like a financial GPS, right? Once we know where you're going, you know, we can help you to get there, but there's got to be tweaks along the way. You know, sometimes you're going to hit a pothole. Sometimes you're going to, you know, run into a, a road that's closed. So you have to make adjustments. You have income flow that comes in, it has to be reinvested. Life happens, right? You have different things that happen in your life and you have to adjust for that. You need someone who's going to contact you on a systematic basis to make sure they understand who you are, what you're trying to achieve, and to be certain that you have the power in that portfolio you know, to drive the success to those goals. And that's where a true financial advisor comes into play. That's what planning's really about. And if you're not hearing from your advisor, on a monthly or quarterly basis, I'll tell you right now, Rye, you have the wrong advisor. Well, thanks for writing in, Pam. Let's take another question now from Michael in Stamford, Connecticut, who says, Ryan, my wife is significantly younger than me, and I'm guessing she'll outlive me by at least 10 years. Do I need life insurance on myself to be sure she's okay after I'm gone? I think the long story short is, Michael, I don't really know. And the reason I say that is, is because we don't, I don't know your situation, right? And this is where planning is really important. And it really depends on how much money have you saved. Maybe if you did pass and then, you know, fortunately your wife is young and she lives a long life, you may have enough money saved that you don't need the insurance or maybe you do need an insurance policy. And I would even add on to that to make things even more complex. The way you take Social Security can be very critical too because she's much younger than you. And Bob, last time I looked for married couples, there's 81 ways you can claim Social Security. Man, this stuff can get really complex really quickly. You know, Michael, Ryan makes a good point because I'm dealing with the same issue because uh, Ryan's mom's a little bit older than I am, which makes me a trophy husband. <laughs> and so when we take our Social Security, you know, since my wife spent most of her time as a homemaker, 
she's going to be able to claim half of my Social Security when I claim mine. It's a significant amount of money and had a big impact on our planning. So, Michael, as Rye says, there's no simple answer. What you need to do is pick up the phone, text or call, set up an appointment to find out what's the next step for you to achieve financial independence. So, Rye, let me ask you, on a scale of 1 to 10, how financially organized did Pam and Michael sound to you? You know what? They're asking the right questions. So I'm going to give them a four today, which is very high for me, Bob. So four as it is across the board. Very generous, Rye. And I want to ask all of you a question. On a scale of one to 10, how financially organized do you feel right now? If you're not a 10, well, here's your opportunity. All you have to do is call or text and be one of our next few callers who have saved at least 200000 for retirement because Rye and I will create for you your own 360 financial portal. This is a holistic view of everything you own. You'll understand what you own and you'll know why you own it. And more importantly, on your homepage, we'll display all of your financial goals in real time. And more importantly, we will track your progress on achieving those goals. This 360 financial portal is a total holistic review where we're going to sit down and look at everything. It's the only review you'll ever need. On top of that, we're going to look at your portfolio. We're going to break it down to see if you have the three key elements of a successful strategy. Do you have a truly diversified portfolio where you're diversified across asset classes and within asset classes? Are you being overcharged in your portfolio? What are the fees? What are the hidden costs of doing business with your current advisor? We want to take those fees out of that advisor's pocket and put it back in your pocket where that money belongs. And on top of that, we're going to look at income. Can we increase the amount of cash flow your portfolio produces on an annual basis? We all need dependable, repeatable cash flow in retirement. And more importantly, the number one goal of being retired is to stay retired. And that's where filling that income gap is so critical. And lastly, we're going to tie it all together into one total financial master plan where we'll answer that age old question. Are you going to outlive your money or is your money going to outlive you? Utilizing strategies that my family's been perfecting now for over 40 years. That's right. For four decades, we've been helping families just like you get from your point A to your point B, to your goals, to your dreams, with your values, with the least amount of risk and only the certainty that a fiduciary like Payne Capital Management can provide. So don't waste time. Call or text at 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. If you're one of the next few callers, we still have a couple slots left. You have over $200,000 saved for retirement. 844-752-6692. That's call or text at 844 844- 752-6692. Here's your shot to get a second opinion. Make sure you're on track at 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. This is no pain, no gain. Financial Radio. From your first encounter with the Payne Capital Management family, you'll notice a difference. First of all, the team doesn't represent any institutions. They represent their clients. That's the power of being independent. You can expect frequent communication about your plan from the team. And as a fee-based financial advisory group, Payne Capital Management embraces its fiduciary responsibility to help you make decisions that serve your best interest and no one else's. See what the PCM difference is all about. Call or text today for a complimentary review. 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. Here's this week's Spotlight on No Pain, No Gain. It's Ryan Payne, Bob Payne, No Pain, No Gain Financial Radio. Bob and I, we like to keep it simple for you. That's why we put together our latest guide, Highlights from the New Tax Law, just to get you up to speed with the new tax reform. Taxes around the corner. You can download it for free. Simply text the word bullish. That's bullish, B-U-L-L-I-S-H, to 555-888. That's the word bullish, to 555-888. Highlights from the new tax law, just to get you up to speed with new tax reform. You can download it for free. Simply text the word bullish, to 555-888. That's the word bullish, to 555-888. And now we have a very, very special guest on the show. My colleague, Bob's colleague, certified financial planner, Courtney C. Money. 
Dominguez. <laughs> Thanks for the introduction. That was quite <laughs> quite the intro. I mean, when you have Courtney Dominguez on your show, you can't just... You have to come in the right way. I'll take it. <laughs> well, thanks for being on the show, Court. Thanks for having me. Um, and this is our spotlight segment. Each week, what we do is we dissect a real financial plan. And we like to uncover what we call the flaws or pain points so our listeners can avoid the same mistakes with their planning and investing. So why don't you give us the rundown on a case that you recently worked on and how you helped this couple get on their path to financial freedom? Yes. So a couple that actually you and I met with, Ryan, very recently here, is just transitioning into a new phase of their life into retirement. Yes. And the good news is they've done a really good job of saving, but now we're going into a different phase. And so really we needed to make sure that we're repositioning everything so that it's much more income focused. We're le much less dependent on the fluctuations in the stock market. Yes. And B which is kind of a common theme we've seen, they have a lot of really high cost investment vehicles which are deterring from their growth over time. Yeah, that's right. And that's why we do this whole x-ray, which I love because you know a lot of times, we talked about this on the show this morning, is you don't really know what you're paying. You know, An advisor can say, well, we're charging you 1%. Well, that's, like, that's half the truth, right? There's those internal costs too. And you really need to know what those are. You need to know what the whole cost is to have your money invested. Exactly. Because um, there's two different fees that you're going to be paying. One, which most of the time you'll see is what do you pay an advisor, somebody who's giving you advice on your accounts. But there's also those hidden costs. And this um, investment portfolio specifically was riddled with investments that were loaded with fees, pretty high fees. We're talking like upwards of 1% to 2%, which is pretty high for our industry. Yeah, and they didn't know they were paying it, which is the crazy part. Exactly. But the other big thing that it, when it comes to retirement is income planning. And we talk about this a lot on our show is we want to make sure that you're much more income focused in retirement. So that way, if you have enough income coming in to cover your expenses, you're not going to have to be so dependent on the stocks going up or down every year. Because if you know you're going to generate enough income, you don't really have to worry about it. And you can make some really easy tweaks to make sure that you're much less dependent on the stock markets and get a much more consistent income coming in going forward. But you know, of course, that's a great point. It's like you can have a portfolio that's conservative, but you can have a portfolio that um, you know where you're not dependent on the stock market, but you're so conservative that you're not making any income because you're keeping everything so short term in the portfolio, which appears to be the case here. Exactly. But what's kind of interesting here too is we could easily boost their income. So if we look overall, we were able to boost their income by about $22,000 a year, which is some real money. That's real money. But we also wow. kind of segregated different accounts. So we said, okay, well, you have certain funds over here that actually have some good income. And so they were saying, well, should we just keep it if the income is good? Yes. But one thing we did want to talk about is not all income is necessarily created equal. Yes. So you have to look at, is that income due to higher risk that you're incurring in there? So for example, you tend to get a lot higher income for something like that's risky, like a junk bond, for example, than you do in something that's more secure. So generally, when things are paying much higher than the markets tend to pay right now, there's usually a reason for that. And so it is something to be wary about. So I love getting income, but I don't want to jeopardize the actual principle of your investments just to get higher income. And that is what was happening in a lot of these different investments. I've never seen a portfolio where it says junk bond. It always says high yield bond. <laughs> yeah, it always um, sounds much It's kind fancier. of Wall Street way of hiding. You're taking huge risk, correct? Correct, exactly. Yeah, and that's the thing. If you're getting like a six, 7% yield on your investment it sounds awesome, but a lot of times the risk is higher and you need to know that. And the two things here I'd mention as well, because we see this all the time, is they're sitting with a couple hundred thousand dollars just in cash, earning like 2% after taxes, like it's one and a half percent. And we see this all the time and that was not helping their cause for retirement. That's a lot of money not making enough. Exactly. Yeah. And we, we kind of use a rule of thumb. You should have anywhere from six to 12 months worth of expenses on hand. In this case specifically, which we have seen a lot, they had about five times that amount, which is much more than you need just sitting in cash. So we had too much in cash getting no income. And then we had certain investments that were getting income, but taking a lot of risk to get it. And when we're going into retirement, we need a happy medium there. And there's some really easy tweaks you can do to make those changes. And you know, the beauty of the analysis is, Courtney, as you show that this couple had enough money 
to retire, which I think is very comforting to anyone being able to see what their financial situation looks like every year over the lifetime. The problem when you have open-ended bond funds or you have money and money market funds where the interest rate isn't fixed, you can't really project their cash flow with any certainty. You have to probably run this every six months because the income flow will change. By creating a true fixed income portfolio, you solve the problem you know, for their retirement. So it's actually that extra income, I think, Rod, we should call that additional C money. <laughs> that's a great euphemism. Yeah, and that's what it's all about. It's just like filling in that income gap. And this is a great situation where there, this couple's never going to have to touch principal between their social security and what you're going to have coming in on the portfolio is enough. And it's going to be an increasing cash flow over time that they're even covering inflation. So another what we call financial masterpiece. Well done, Courtney C. Money Dominguez. Thanks for having me. And if you're thinking to yourself right now, I need a review just like this. I need to figure out what my income is. I need to figure out what to do with all my cash. I need to understand the investments that I own. Here's your shot to do it. We still have a couple slots left. If you give us a call right now, myself, Bob, Courtney C. Money Dominguez will run for you our total financial master plan. And we're going to do that with no obligation or cost. It's a full holistic review just like this where we look at the big picture. Look, statements are probably in for March. Put them in that folder, print them off the computer, bring them in the office. We're going to build for you your own personalized financial portal so we can get a bird's eye view of the entire picture. And we're going to start looking at all those critical components. We're going to look at diversification. What underlying risk do you have in your portfolio? Did you get hit really hard in December when the market sold off? We're going to show you how to properly diversify and protect your portfolio for retirement. We're going to look at fees. This portfolio had a lot of hidden investment costs almost close to 2% a year. What are those hidden costs in your portfolio? We're going to show you how to reduce costs on your portfolio so there's more money in your pocket for retirement. And finally, we're going to look at income. Income is so critical in retirement. Can we optimize or increase the income on your portfolio like we were for this couple by over $20,000 a year? So you can fill in your income gap and replace that income in retirement. Then we're going to tie it all together into one total financial master plan and determine the most important question. Are you going to outlive your money? Or more importantly, is your money going to outlive you? Utilizing strategies now we've been working on for over 40 years to take your family from point A to point B with the least amount of risk and the highest odds of success. And all you have to do is call or text. Don't miss out. We have a few spots left. Text or call 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. 6692. If you're one of our next few callers, you've saved over 200000 for your retirement. Our team will create for you your own total financial master plan. Now, there's no obligation. There's no cost. But there won't be a plan unless you text or call 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. Well, another great show. Courtney, C Money, Dominguez, that I mentioned certified financial planner. If I didn't, <laughs> I should have. You did, but I appreciate the, you know, reminding <laughs> everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Your name's just so long. There's so many there's so many titles and accolades. Thanks for being on the show. <laughs> Thanks again for having me. Big Bob. I assume you're watching golf for the rest of the day. Yes, Ryan, I'm gonna I'm gonna get ready for the Masters coming up this week. I'm gonna tune in on Thursday and get ready for the uh, greatest golf tournament in the world. I like it, Bob. Good plans. Well, it's another great show. And as always, be bullish. Information provided on today's show is provided for information purposes only and does not constitute investment, tax, or legal advice. Information has been obtained from sources that are deemed to be reliable, but their accuracy and completeness cannot be guaranteed. Always consult with an investment, legal, or tax professional before taking any action.